This just in, the U.S. Department of Education has announced Texas violated federal law when it comes to educating students with disabilities. The I-Team's Brian New has been investigating problems with special education at Texas schools for the past 18 months, and he joins us now live from our Dallas newsroom with the latest developments. Brian. Yeah, Karen, we just received this report from the Department of Education just a few minutes ago, and it states that after a year-long investigation, the federal government has found that the state of Texas violated federal law in three areas when it comes to students with disabilities. This report here notes that the state of Texas failed to ensure that a free, appropriate public education was made available to all children with disabilities. It was a year ago, you may remember, when hundreds of families here in Texas met with federal education officials at what were called listening sessions. Families there shared their stories at these sessions of how their children were being denied special education services at Texas public schools. Students like Billy Wilkerson of Richardson stood up and shared his story about how despite his disability, his school refused to evaluate him to see if he even needed special education services. The I-Team reported a year ago how Texas ranks last in the country when it comes to the percentage of students who receive special education help. It was these reports of low special education enrollment that the feds note as the reason it decided to take a close look at Texas. You know, this report also lays out a plan and a timeline of how the Texas Education Agency needs to fix these problems. We were told by a source this morning that the first two copies of this report, one went to the TEA, the other went to the governor's office. We will continue to dig through this report and give you the latest developments throughout the day. Live in the Dallas newsroom, Brian New, CBS 11 News.